going on guys? So today I am building a uh, micro or nano vivarium. Um, this is really pretty just a basic little thing here. I've got some, uh, I, I guess black great stuff foam. It's for uh, ponds and stuff so it's uh, non-toxic. And I have some clear silicone which it's uh, for fish tanks which is non-toxic. Um, so I'll just kind of give you guys the rundown of what I'm doing right now. Uh, I just have some pieces of driftwood. Uh, this piece, I'll show you guys the layout in one second. I have these, these little pieces and that little piece. Then I have my uh, substrate for the background after I'm done putting this on. Uh, it's a repti bark mixed with eco earth. And then I have these little plant holders for the background. Uh, I have some creeping fig and some pink nail plants and some moss I'm going to blend up. Um, I'm recording with a new camera today. I'm recording with a uh, Canon SX700HS. Uh, hope this is a little bit better quality um, than my other camera. So yeah, stay tuned. Uh, right now I'm just going to show you guys my uh, little layout I have going right now. of What I want this tank to look like when it is all ready and done. So that's kind of my goal of what to kind of make the driftwood look like. So I need to have some climbing area. I can put some plants up here and uh, another plant right there or something and just throw some little pieces of driftwood in the background. So yeah, stay tuned and let's get to the build. I just uh, finished misting down the tank. I just brought it downstairs. Uh, I still gotta get some of the silicone off with the razor blade. But when that's all done, I'm gonna add the substrate and all the plants. So I'll be back when this tank is had the substrate and the plants in it. So stay tuned. Uh, by the pink nerve plant. That piece of driftwood one runs from this corner all the way up into that corner. So it kind of gives them a good area to climb. There's little caves and tunnels I made in it. There's actually a little hidden tunnel back here. Uh, it comes, it's, a behi it's behind that driftwood. It leads all the way to over here. It's it's big enough, it's about that much space. Uh, if I can, if I turn the cage on, you can see it. Uh, so I can, I know where he's at at all times. There's no, crevices where he can get stuck in. Uh, the top is a little cramped up there, but he should be fine. He should not be able to get stuck up there. Um, so I guess we'll give you guys the rundown of my plants. Um, I'll start off with this corner. This is a pink nerve plant. A very pretty, vibrant plant. Very pretty. 
And then I have, I'm gonna get the tripod really quick, guys. This is kind of shaky without the tripod. And then I have the Wandering Jew. Uh, that's just uh, put under a piece of moss for right now. And then we have some creeping fig. A lot of that all up the top of the tank. Hoping that'll kind of take over a little bit of the back wall. Then I have some of this Missouri native uh, kind of succulent type plant. I'm not for sure what type it is. Uh, it grows uh, inside of creeks and along the banks of creeks and bodies of water in Missouri. Uh, mainly creeks because it likes to be in shaded areas. Uh, it doesn't like to be in the open. I think, I'm think i thinking it'll do fine in this tank because this light is not very strong. As you can see, it's pretty shaded in this corner. Um, the moss, most of the moss is directly under this light. This is all live moss, the top layer of it, all live moss. And I have some more of that Missouri native plant right over there, kind of just plugged into the back wall. If this thing will focus, I'll show you. Okay, it doesn't want to focus, so I guess, uh, yeah. So, uh, I have a false bottom of repti bark on the bottom, repti bark and some pebbles mixed together. Um, mainly pebbles on the bottom and then I have my own uh, bioactive layer of repti bark, cocoa husk, eco earth, sphagnum moss and some bark chips thrown in there uh, so that should do pretty good uh, there's ice pods and springtails in here, tropical springtails and uh, I think temperate ice pods which should do fine because this is kind of a temperate setup anyway uh, it does have airflow on the top it has a piece of the uh, plastic cut off about one fourth of the plastic cut off up there. I'm um, doing this with all of my uh, vivariums now because I noticed they've been getting really waterlogged and I don't want that. I want there to be some airflow so the plants can have new air and the newt can have new air. Even though plants do make oxygen, the air in this tank can get stale. So that's why um, I'm going to leave this open like that now. So this tank is pretty much complete. Um, if you guys haven't seen the driftwood yet, I showed it at the beginning of the video. It runs from this corner of the tank all the way up into that corner. And yeah, like I said at the beginning, it has some little caves in the back of it, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, have some, have another little cave back there. And there's another one right there. And behind that moss there is, so if he wants to kind of sit in that moss. Uh, I don't know where he is right now, actually. Oh, he's up here. I'm in exploring. I am going to kind of seal this little area off right now, so I'm going to uh, keep a close eye on him, just to make sure he doesn't get up here, and then I'm going to seal it off with twist ties or a sewing needle and thread. What do you think about this? Huh? I guess, I guess he likes it and he's watching it. So yes, yeah, it's a 2.5 gallon micro vivarium. I will be doing updates on this. Uh, so I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I uh, hope you enjoyed. See you guys later.